The Sukhoi Su-33, which NATO calls the Flanker D, is a single-seat fighter jet that Russia designed to operate from its aircraft carriers. It's actually based on the Su-27, but it was modified to handle naval missions. Compared to the Su-27, the Su-33 was specially adapted for aircraft carrier operations. It has a strengthened structure and undercarriage to handle the stress of carrier takeoffs and landings. Its wings and stabilators can fold to save space on the carrier, and it features canards and larger wings to improve lift and allow for slower, more controlled landings. The Su-33 also has upgraded engines, a twin nose wheel for better support on carrier decks, and it's capable of aerial refueling for extended missions. Most importantly, it's equipped with an arresting hook, which is essential for carrier landings. This hook catches the arresting wires on the flight deck, allowing the aircraft to stop safely in a very short distance. The Sea Flanker was first used in real operations in 1995 aboard Russia's aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov. It officially entered service in August 1998, and by then it was formally called the Su-33. After the Soviet Union collapsed and the Russian Navy was scaled down, only 24 of these jets were ever built. The Su-33 actually inspired China to develop its own carrier-based fighter, the Shenyang J-15. It shares many of the same features and capabilities as the Russian-made Flanker D. The Su-33 is both fast and highly maneuverable. It's powered by two Saturn AL-31K engines that together produce about 60,000 pounds of thrust, giving it a top speed of around Mach 2. It can fly at altitudes over 55,000 feet and has an impressive range of nearly 2,000 miles, though its combat radius, meaning the distance it can actually fight and return from, is a bit less. The Su-33 is also capable of performing the Cobra maneuver, same as Su-27, a dramatic move where the aircraft pitches its nose up to nearly vertical before quickly leveling out. This showcases its excellent agility and control, especially at low speeds, and is a testament to its design and thrust vectoring capabilities. The Su-33 is equipped with 12 external hardpoints, allowing it to carry up to 14,000 pounds of munitions. This includes a variety of weapons like the R-73 heat-seeking, and R-27 radar homing air-to-air -air missiles, as well as cruise missiles, glide bombs, rockets, and conventional bombs. As a naval interceptor, the Flanker D can carry a range of anti-ship missiles, including the KH-31A, KH-41, and the Mosquit ASM MSS munitions. Additionally, it's equipped with anti-radiation missiles, like the KH-25MP and KH-31P, designed to target and destroy enemy radar and air defense systems. It also armed with a 30mm cannon, capable of firing 150 rounds. Right now, the Russian Navy only has one aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov. However, it's not just an aircraft carrier, it's actually a mix of an aircraft carrier and a guided missile cruiser. The Kuznetsov can carry up to 24 fighter jets, including the Su-33 and MiG-29K. It's been undergoing repairs for the past seven years, and there's still uncertainty about whether it will ever return to operational service.